Good evening, folks. Welcome once again. Glad to be with you. Let's bow our heads before we get into our topic for the evening. Father in heaven, I want to ask that you would bless each one of us, that you would guide us this evening as we spend a few moments studying, that we would understand that we are on a narrow path that leads to salvation. Let nothing turn us from one side or to the other side. May we stay steadfast, following your Holy Spirit and listening to your word each step of the way until we reach the promised land. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14, Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, have this to say. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark. So we continue to push forward. We forget the things, the mistakes, the, the issues of the past, and we look forward to an eternity with Jesus, and we press on towards that mark, towards that upward calling. Let's see what the pen of inspiration has to say. Uh, letter 1, December 31, 1903, and here is what it says. Do not allow anything to turn you aside from the path of self-denial. Those of those in who in ancient times engaged in contest of physical strength, we read, every man that striveth in the games exerciseth self-control in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. You know, when you think of, of uh, some great athlete who has achieved greatness in this world and has stood in the number one spot and received the gold medal, if you talk to them about their lives, you'll discover they changed their diet. They changed everything about their lifestyle. They lived every moment of their life looking forward to being number one for that corruptible medal. You and I, how much more effort should we be putting in to our lives to receive an incorruptible eternal life that is the prize that we have waiting for us if we would just order our life and everything about who we are towards living like jesus and being like jesus and denying self on a daily basis so that one day we too can stand in the number one place which is heaven that's what I look forward to, and I hope that's what each one of us look forward to. There's no second place, and there's no third place. There's only first place, and the only way we will get that is if we put every fiber of our being into reaching that goal. Let's read on. As we engage in the great struggle, let us think of what we shall lose if we fail. We shall lose the eternal life purchased for us by the blood of the Son of God. So we then grudge the toil, shall we then grudge the toil of eternal vigilance? vigilance? If we do all in our power to resist evil and surmount obstacles, we shall gain the victory. Listen to that. If we do all in our power to resist evil and surmount obstacles, we shall gain the victory. Isn't that good news? Vigor will reward the efforts made to press toward the prize of our high calling in Christ. Worldly attractions will be presented to draw the attention from the Lord Jesus, but laying aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets us, we are to press forward showing the world, showing to the world, to the angels, and to men that hope that the hope of seeing the face of God is worth all the effort and all the sacrifices that the attainment of hope demands. So we lay aside all the things of this world. We don't give in to the commercialism and, and all of the things that this world has to offer because we are pressing on to something that this world cannot offer that is beyond what this world can offer, which is eternal life, which is a life filled with love and laughter and happiness and joy and peace and contentment living with our Heavenly Father and with our brothers and sisters. I count not myself to have laid hold, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and stretching forward to the things which are before, I press toward the goal unto the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now, I've met a few people who seem to live in the past and they think about all the mistakes and the failures and, and all of the bad things that happens and, and it tends to get you down. You listen and, and you, you pray and you try to encourage, but we're told to forget the failures of the past, to look forward 
Yesterday is gone. We have today and tomorrow and eternity we can still gain. One thing I do, Paul allowed for nothing to divert him from the one great purpose of his life. In the busy activities of life, he never lost sight of his one great purpose, to press on toward the prize of his high calling. I pray that today you and I will be reminded that we too need to press on for our high calling, which is the upward call of Christ Jesus, which is witnessing, which is sharing our faith, which is living a life of self-denial, the same life that Jesus lived. I don't live just for myself. I live so that Christ can live in me. And that hope of glory that I have, others will see in me and they will want it too. I pray that you have the same idea in your life, that you aren't just living for yourself, but you are living to represent Christ to the world so that you won't be the only one in heaven, but many others will be there because of your witness and because of the life that you lived for Christ. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I want to ask that you will bless us today, that you will Keep us safe in your arms of love. Lord, we're looking forward to schools reopening and things happening, but at the same time, we're seeing a resurgence in this COVID and, and, and health-related issues. So Lord, we ask that as things open up and as the school opens up, you will place a hedge of protection about us and about our families. Lord, I pray that things will go well, and, and I thank you that our children can go back to school, but I pray that you will continue to lead and guide and direct in our lives, give wisdom to the teachers and all of those that are making this possible and the plans that they are laying so that it can be possible. But at the same time, Lord, I pray that each one of us will be reminded to stay the course, to order our life in such a way that we can win the prize. We can attain eternal life in Christ Jesus. And I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, folks, blessings and have a wonderful rest of your evening.